Hey YouTube, it's your boy Mizuki back with another video and in today's video I decided to make yet another tier list video But today's tier list video is a little interesting because it is about a game that I haven't explored yet that much I've heard a lot of negative stuff about the game, so I didn't want to play it, but you know what? Why not? Anyways, today's video, as you guys could probably tell by the caption, we will be talking about Volk's vote standings and, you know, list them uh, on a scale of A through whatever. Obviously, in today's video, it's just going to be Volt standings. Shrifts are not involved. We're just talking about the passives. We're talking about the moves. And we're talking about certain perks that uh, make some, makes obviously some of these vault standings better than the other. So without further ado, let's jump right into the first one. We got ourselves one of the two common uh, vault standings. There are two common vault standings, and I believe this is the better one of the two. It's called Duality, and it's an ink vault standing. And the reason why I believe it's a better of the two is because of its outrageous passives. And let me get to them. Uh, so the passives are dashing using heavy attacks, M2, etc. Spreads even more ink around the ground, buffing the damage of the moves. So basically, if there's a lot of ink and you're standing in it and you have this vault standing, your moves are going to do a tremendous amount of damage. Also, while you stand in that ink, you take 50% less damage. 50% less damage from any attack. That is insane, you know what I mean? Um, just the bottom line is the passives of duality are just absolutely insane. Although its move is a little mid, but it's obviously a common, it's a common move. The move itself is basically you form one ball made of light particles and another ball of pure darkness. Combine them to send an intense singularity of balance. Um, so basically just shoot a black and white ball at your opponent. The thing is though, uh, it's pretty easy to dodge I feel like. But the cool thing about it is this move scales with your spirit. So if your spirit's high, then this this move's gonna be really large. But regardless, I feel like one ball, uh, one ball attack, is, they're just really dodgeable in any video game. Uh, also, I feel like charging that up is gonna take a while. But realistically, the passives of this move definitely carry into the B section, the mid section. I definitely like the passives. Um, I'm not a big fan of the move, but regardless, I feel like if you do connect with the move, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, definitely ink is gonna take B uh, Currently a high B maybe it's gonna change Anyways on to the next one now Odyssey is one that I've never really been a fan of and this is actually the second volt standing um, It's basically kind of like a speed thing, right? So you're kind of like fast with it um, That that's kind of like its thing obviously for duality it was ink this one is super speed or whatever uh, the passives is it has a custom dash that gives you iframes during its whole duration. Uh, but the cool thing I like about Odyssey that, um, you know, obviously no common vol standing has at the moment is two moves. Um, the first one is a counter. So basically if someone's like M1ing you, uh, you could counter them and like do a lot of damage to them. Um, that's the first move. And the second move is called uh, Destination Ground Zero, which is basically you dash forward in a flash, grab your target by the skull, then go flying upwards, uh, blah, 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 you fly around, and then in the end, you slam, you basically slam their face into the ground. And the cool thing about it is this move scales with strength, but realistically, it's kind of like uh, duality where I feel like if you use this move, and I believe this is what happens, you could easily dodge the move because it's kind of just like, you fly at your opponent in one line it's not like a splash damage thing it's more like if you don't if you don't hit him accurately your the move's not going to do anything um so in my opinion odyssey is kind of a mid thing the counter uh it doesn't do that much damage and neither does uh, well ground zero does do a lot of damage but again the passes are mid and this move is very dodgeable so i personally am gonna put it in the c tier it's not very good um, I definitely, I'll definitely roll or just start over if I already get this vault standing. Now, moving on from the common vault standings, we're going to be moving into the rare ones, and you all will see the clear difference between rare vault standings and common vault standings. And right off the bat, we got the apocalypse vault standing, and the thing I like about the apocalypse vault standing that makes it stand out so much is the fact that it has three legit passives. The first passive is, while in Volt Standing, all of your attacks will auto-execute opponents instead of knocking them. Which is really, in my opinion, convenient because you don't have to worry about that guy, he's just dead. Apocalypse has a custom dash, and what happens is hostile hands get summoned from the user, 
and attack any nearby opponent. So while you're trying to dash away, these these hands will probably distract your opponent and uh, obviously allow you to get away from him. The third passive is your M2 counters now apply Death Toll. So after 20 seconds, Death Toll will ring a bell, allowing for a brief moment where if the opponent is attacked, they will explode. So the cool thing about this third passive is obviously after you counter your opponent's M2, after 20 seconds, a bell will ring and you'll get a moment, a brief moment, where if you attack your opponent, he will explode and that will do a lot of damage. Now the only similarity between the common vault standings and the rare vault standings is the fact that they, they all only have one move. Now the first move is called death and it's basically where you summon a scythe, uh, it's just a dark scythe, and you slice four forward and if your enemy is below 20 HP and is hit, he will automatically be executed. This move obviously scales from or with strength and is an auto execute. Now, honestly, compared to all the other vault standings so far, I believe that this one has a lot of potential. Its move is strong and its passive is very legit. I would personally put Apocalypse into the low A category since it's not that much better than Ink, but it is better than Ink in general. Now this next rare vault standing is actually the opposite of solid and I personally don't appreciate it that much. This vault standing is called Eidolon. Um, it's basically a darkness, uh, darkness vault standing and like although it may sound cool, it's kind of lame. And like the passives, uh, one that only has two passives, um, although the second passive is kind of legit, uh, that's not why I don't like it. But anyways, the first passive is of Eidolon is a custom dash, which of course every Volt Standing has a custom dash, it's nothing cool. Uh, the actual passive though, the second one, is every M1 burns opponents on hits. So it's kind of cool, it takes away a lot from Zonka no Tachi and the fact that it has burn chip, but that's really the only good thing about it. Uh, while they Also while they're on fire, they cannot break your block, so that's kind of convenient, right? And again, but again, the move itself, or the Volt Standing itself, only has one move, and it's called Fear. It's basically a counter. Yes, it's a counter. Uh, you form an arrow made of pure fear and impale, impale it into your opponents upon countering them. Afterward, you use this skill again to detonate the arrow, creating a pillar of fright. This move scales its spirit and is a counter. And what I don't appreciate about this is one, how little passives it has, and two, the fact that the, the main move itself is a counter, which makes you think, like, what if you miss the counter? You're gonna get hit. Like, what I like about all these other bull standings is the fact that you're the one doing the damage, but here you have to gamble your HP on this counter, and I don't know, I just don't appreciate that idea. So overall, I probably, I'm probably gonna be putting this one at a low B, below ink. And the reason for that is obviously ink has a lot of solid, um, very solid passives. And the move itself that ink has is a lot more promising than this counter. So again, low B, I hope y'all fix it and moving on. Now moving on to the legendary vault standings. These vault standings are just visibly superior to the rare ones and the common ones and you probably won't see a single legendary vault standing ever be beaten by a rare one or a common one um so obviously the first uh the first vault standing that is legendary is called forest there are actually two vault standings that are legendary the first one is called forest and its passives are really cool because um they're actually like they're not just like random like whoa custom dash now these are actually really uh really useful passives so basically using house spirit and hitting an opponent heals you also when you get hit by an opponent's ability you get healed a bit depends on the damage of the ability so basically if your opponent's like i'm wanting you or like doing some crazy ass move on you or you're hitting your opponent that heals you also forest is a fire based um
fast as it heals you whenever you attack and you get hit and it chips damage away from your opponents with the fire and the kick thing is really sick because listen if you're getting 2 v one and you use this kick you could literally use it to fly away from the other from the other dude and finish off your opponent wherever um and of course there's a lot of damage so overall i'm probably gonna put um i'm gonna put forest at a high a just because just a really high a if not a low s it's like on a, i would like put it in the middle but i obviously can't it's a high a though it's, re it's really strong and you know it's definitely something you really want to spin for now the second one is one that actually counters the force should be surprised I mean, damn force is a powerful gold standing on both legendary and count. well i'm about to tell you all anyways it's called oasis um it's passive art jumping now makes you skip around like a stone in take damage from fire anymore because this is a water bolt stand. Anyways, onto the moves. Move number one is called the Floodgates of Paradise. So you basically open, a fl uh, open the floodgates of a hidden paradise upon the battlefield. What it basically does is this move, it surrounds your opponent in a circle of water and everything inside of the circle um, just basically demolishes and um, kind of shreds your opponent up. There's like geysers, there's like water guns, there's like water creatures running around. Your opponent basically gets destroyed little by little. And the best part of all is you're able to move around this place freely. So aside from getting just completely annihilated by the things inside of the circle, you can also add on extra com combos and just absolutely obliterate your opponent. Honestly, Floodgates of Paradise is definitely the best wall standing move out of all of these. Just because it's one it's a splash damage move since anybody stuck in the circle is bound to get destroyed by it and it also counters a lot of different moves that are fire based and it also makes you run around really fast bunny hop um overall i believe that this volt standing has to be s tier it's just like it's passives it's moves are all solid uh, it counters one of the best volt standings in the game and yeah overall it's an s tier um anyways y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video i try to rank these as well as i can with the information that i had um obviously like some of these moves for example the odyssey and whatever like they just need to be fixed so devs i mean obviously like there's vol standings out there that are supposed to be bad but just buff some of these like they're just so bad like they gotta get a little better like yeah obviously some of them have to be bad for game purpose but like not this bad bro aside from that i hope y'all enjoyed this video um like sub all the proper things and i'll see y'all in the next one ciao